Hey everybody, it's Dr. Beyer of Beyer Chiropractic Center in Frankfurt, and I get a lot of patients over the years I've been practicing asking me, what exactly is a bulging disc? Now some people will call it a slip disc or a herniated disc. All those terms mean the same thing. The same thing is happening to one degree or another with the disc when people are talking about a bulging or a slipped or a herniated disc. And I'm going to show you on this computer what people are talking about when they're uh, using one of those terms. So this picture on the left is a side view of the spine. It's just a, 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 a small little segment of the low back. There's 24 bones in, in our whole spine from our neck to our low back. This is just showing a few of them on the side of the low back. This picture to the right is looking straight down the spine. So it's pretty cool. So you get like a couple different views. And on this view, it helps us really uh, show to you uh, exactly what the disc is and what's happening when it's bulging or it's slipped. So you'll notice that the disc is made of two different materials. The inside part is like a, a jelly-like substance. They call it the nucleus pulposus. The outside part is like a cartilage uh, fibrous material, and it's what, it's what holds that jelly-like uh, liquid part in, inside there. And so the disc acts like a shock absorber, and it also acts like a spacer, so there's enough room between the bones for the nerves. Uh, actually, on this side view, it's not showing the nerves, but be, at each segment, there's a nerve coming off the spinal cord to the left and to the right, okay? So watch this handy dandy little thing. It's gonna show you what happens when the bones of the spine become misaligned and remain that way for a long period of time, the disc starts to become weakened and cracks and tears. The bones start to come down on each other. And if you look to the right, let me actually switch this here. What can happen is, is that that weakened disc, the outside part of the disc, allows the center part to kind of migrate or bulge outward onto one of the nerves coming off the spinal cord. Now the bulge can go either to the right, in which case you get symptoms in the right leg, or it can go, of course, either direction. It can go to the left. It sometimes can go straight back into the spinal cord, and then people get symptoms in both legs. Now the vast majority of times, these, these conditions, these slipped or bulging or herniated disc, not only can be treated conservatively, but are best treated because the surgery poses risks to damage the nerves or scar tissue formation. And the surgery doesn't correct the underlying mechanical problems that cause the, the weakening of the disc to begin with. Only very rarely, if you look at this picture, very rarely, like less than two, 3% of the time, will um, a piece of that liquid part kind of break free of that annulus and be floating or become a free fragment out there in the spinal canal. That's when people start to get um, uh, bowel or bladder symptoms. They call it cauda equina syndrome. They start to lose control of their bowel or bladder. That's a definite surgical case, but the vast majority of times, like 98% of the time, that's not happening. It's either a bulge where the liquid is still contained either to the left or to the right, and it can and uh, is actually best treated conservatively in that case. So that in a nutshell is what people are talking about when they are saying a slip disc or a bulging disc or a herniated disc. And again, not only can it be treated conservatively, but it's actually best can treat, uh, treated conservatively. And that's what we do in our office. Uh, there's information on our website that talks about how we do that. If you're interested, buyercairo.com. If you're suffering with this, please give us a call. We have great treatment options available. And if you like this post, like it. If you know somebody who can uh, benefit from it, share. If you've got any comments, feel free. We'll answer any questions you may have.